hello viewers welcome to the channel in this video we will design this model using four workbench in FreeCAD we'll use part design sketcher part and draft workbench to create this model I hope you like this video and if you can support the channel with a donation I really appreciate it simply access the first link in the description of this video thank you and let's go let's go to FreeCAD here create a new document and switch to the part design workbench Okay, and now create a new sketch in XY plane. Zoom out here. Okay, and now go to Sketch Geometry, these tools here, and select, click here, and select Ellipse Tool. Okay, what we'll do here is to draw a slip in this origin point. We'll draw this sketch here. Okay, so click in this origin point and draw this ellipse in this way and now select vertical constraint and make this line here vertical okay and next you will set the size of this ellipse as you can see here we have two degrees of freedom so let's go to the drink page and here we can see this table here for this first ellipse here we have these dimensions 60 and 90 so let's go now here select constraint distance tool Click in this horizontal line and here we'll set a length of 60. Okay, and also we'll set a name for this dimension here. We'll set width. Okay, and now select this vertical line and let's set a length of 90. As you can see here, the name of this dimension will be height. Okay, and now just leave this sketch and press home in your keyboard and select pet tool. Okay, let's set reverse it and now we'll change link here to let's see here we'll change link to six. Change here to six and okay. And now as you can see we have this. And now what you do we create a new sketch in XY plane again. Okay, and now Go to Sketch Geometry and select External Jump Tool and extract this edge here. Okay, so now we're able to create this sketch here. So first here, what we'll do is to select this Arc Tool. Okay, and now what we'll do is to set these points tangent. So first here, we'll select this point here and this edge and we'll set tangent okay and now select this point here and set tangent now this point and set tangent and now what we'll do is to create a mirror of these two arcs here so what we do we select these two arcs okay and then this first column here and then select symmetrical symmetric okay and now what you do zoom in and make these two points here tangent select these two points and set tangent okay and next select this point here and this edge and set tangent okay and now select line tool and connect these two points here okay and next what we'll do is to set these two center points here similar to this line so select these two points and then these line here and set symmetric and these two arcs equal okay okay and now let's set the size of this sketch here so first what we'll do is to select this crossing cycle and then click in this arc here and the reds here is eight millimeters okay and for this arc here we have a range of 100 okay and for this arc here we have 8 millimeters okay and now we have two degrees of freedom here so now let's select vertical distance tool as you can see here we have this distance 55 okay so what what we'll do here is to select this point and then this point here and we'll set 55 here and now select this center point here and this origin point and we'll set a distance of 145 degrees 
okay and now we have the sketch full constraint it so leave the sketch and press home now let's make extrusion of the sketch click and pad tool set reversed and change the length here to six and okay now as you can see we have this part here and next let's create this fillet here so what you do now now we select this edge and control select this edge here and now fillet tool okay the value of this fillet is we can see here is two millimeters so we'll change here to two millimeters and then click ok and now we have this and next let's create this pocket in this part here so what you do now now we select this face here and we create a new sketch in this face and to create this sketch here we'll use slot 2 go to sketch geometry and select slot 2 this tool here okay and now show this slot in this way and let's set the size of this slot here we'll select constrain distance tool and now this line here and we'll set the length of here we can see 10 millimeters so he will set 10 okay and the distance between these two points here will set six okay and now we have one degree of freedom so next here we can see this distance between the center point here to the center point of this slot so what you'll do is to extract this edge here to get the center point here select external jump tool and extract this edge now as you can see we have the center point so select vertical distance tool now these two points here and let's set 18 okay and leave the sketch and let's create a pocket change it up to triangle and okay and now we have this and next let's create this fillet here value of this fillet is 1.5 so what you do select this edge here and control select this edge and now fill it too and let's change here to 1.5 and enter okay now we have these and the next thing to do now is to create this pocket here to create this pocket we'll need two sketches so let's create these two sketches let's go to FreeCut go to the model tip First here, what we'll do is to go to this first operation here, this path, click on this arrow and let's rename this sketch here to 1. So this is the ellipse 1. Okay, and let's create a copy of this sketch. Select this sketch and click on copy icon and now select only this sketch and enter. Now pass the sketch here and rename this sketch to 2 and spacebar now to see this sketch and drag this sketch into this body here and now what you do now we'll change the size of these ellipse here so what you do first we need to select this sketch here and then here we go to sketch constraints and now here we can see these constraints here these dimensions so first here we'll change the width here to we'll change the dimensions of this ellipse here to these dimensions here here we'll set 45 and here we'll set 75 and enter now as you can see we have this okay and now let's create a new sketch click on this icon select axi plane for this sketch okay switch to the session view and now zoom in and select go to sketch jumps and click here select square click on this origin point and draw this and now what we'll do is to set the size of this square as you can see here we have one millimeters so we need to select horizontal distance tool and now these two points here and let's set one here and now leave the sketch okay now we have these two sketches here but now we have to change the attachment of this sketch here so what you do we go to the model tip 
select this sketch here and right click on mouse and select attachment editor and now what you do we click in this plane button and we select this sketch okay and also we'll change the attachment mode And now refresh okay so now we are able to create this pocket what you need to do is to select the sketch this profile sketch and then subtract the pipe tool clicking this icon and now clicking this object button and select this sketch and click OK okay and now we have this pocket here Okay, and the next step now is to create these parts here. To create these parts, first what we'll do is to create a new body in which we'll draw this shape here. So let's do that. Let's go to FreeCut. Okay, create a new body. Okay, and now hide this first body here, spacebar. Okay, and now go to Active Tools of Part Design. Click in this icon and select Active Cylinder. Okay, press Home. And first here, what we'll do is to set the attachment of this cylinder. So we'll select XY plane for this cylinder. And now let's change the ridges here. As you can see, for this for this shape here, we have a diameter of 2.5 here. So what you'll do here is to set 2.5 divided by 2 and the height of this cylinder will set 15 millimeters and enter. Now as you can see we have this and now it's time to create this angle here. So what you do, we need to select this surface here and then draft tool, clicking this icon. Okay, and the first thing that we'll do here is to set the neutral plane for this operation. So click in this button and rotate the model and select this bottom face here. Okay, and now let's set the draft angle. We'll change here to 1.53 degrees. Okay, and now just click OK and we have this. And next, let's create this fillet here. As you can see, 0 0.5 here for this fillet. Select this face and now this fillet tool, change to 0 0.5 and enter. Now we have this. Okay, and let's close this arrow here. Okay, and now what we'll do is to create two groups. Click on this icon two times to create these groups here. This first group here we rename to shape. Okay, and this group here, the name of this group here will set ellipse. Okay. And now what to do? We drag this body here into this group. Okay, and next what we'll do is to is to create this this ellipse here with these dimensions here as you can see so what you need to do now now let's go to this body click in this arrow and let's create a copy of this ellipse 2 select this ellipse 2 and click in copy icon and copy only the select only this sketch here okay and now pass the sketch here and click here Make this sketch visible. Okay, and hide this shape group. And let's make this body visible. Space bar and press home. Okay, and let's rename this sketch here to tree. So this sketch here will be ellipse tree. Okay, and also let's change the dimension of this ellipse to these dimensions here. So what you need to do is to select this sketch here and then go to sketch constraints. Okay, and now click in this pass icon again and make this visible. And let's rename to full. And now let's change the dimensions here to these dimensions. Okay, 
and click in this pass icon again make this sketch visible space bar and rename to 5 and now let's change to 20 and 45 okay and pass icon again and space bar let's rename to 6 and now we'll change the width here to 10 and 35 okay and next here we'll create a line we'll create this vertical line here so what you do first let's select these all sketch and move the sketch into this group here okay and let's hide these sketch and now double click in this body okay and create a new sketch select xy plane double click okay and now select line tool and draw this vertical line select smart core constraint and let's make these two points move to this horizontal line and now let's set the size of this line here click in this line and we'll set 19 okay and escape two times to leave the sketch and now we go to the model tip okay and we drag this sketch here into this group okay and now click in this arrow turn this sketch here to vertical line okay and now let's make this group here visible spacebar okay and now we can create these perforates of this part here so let's do that first first what we'll do is to change the workbench click here and select draft workbench and now hide this grid here click in this icon and let's let's switch to the top view click in this icon and zoom in okay and click in this arrow okay first here what to do is to create a periphery in this sketch of this part here so what you need to do is to select this body and then hold ctrl and select this sketch here tree click here and select periphery okay and now let's change let's change the object's count of this periphery go to objects and count here we'll change to 20 change here to 20 and enter and now select the body again and now this sketch here sketch through and select perforate and now we'll change the count here to 16 let's add 16 here and enter and now select the body and next this sketch 5 and perforate now and here we'll set 12 okay and now select the body again and now this sketch here and select periphery now we'll change here to 8 okay and again select this body and now this vertical line sketch and periphery and here we'll change to 3 okay now as you can see we have these peripheries of this this shape here okay so now let's hide this group here select this group and spacebar okay and now we have this okay we have this part here and the next thing to do now is to make a fusion of these peripheries with this part here so what you do now we change the workbench to part okay and what you need to do now is to select this body and then these perforates. So first select these, select these perforates and control select this body and now select union two. Okay, and now as you can see we have this part here, this fusion part. So it's all for this model. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, please leave a like, a comment, and share this video with your friends.